Okay, folks, so here we are, continuing our playthrough and academic analysis of Deus Ex Human Revolution. Um, I want to mention a couple things real quick. Uh, I apologize if some people think that some of the videos are a bit short. Uh, that happens because of YouTube's limits, of course. Uh, YouTube limits videos to only 15 minutes. And the way the capturing works on the PC, I'm capturing using fraps. And uh, consequently, um, you know, Fraps dumps the file into an AVI, a big AVI of about four gigabytes. Every four gigabytes, it dumps the file. So what I do then is I go back and I piece the files back together and convert them to WMV uh, up to a 15-minute limit, you know, so that I can upload them to YouTube. Uh, and I put them on a playlist so that it's continuous. Uh, but the thing is that while I'm playing, I, of course, don't know for sure just uh, how long I've been playing. Um, plus, on top of that, as you may have noticed, I mean, I will do a little bit of editing here and there sometimes. I won't, I'll try not to do too much because it usually just isn't worth it. But um, anyway, uh, the thing is that would change the playtime anyhow. <laughs> so I apologize for that. The other thing I wanted to mention too is that uh, I, well I, what I wanted to do really I guess is, is show everybody something I mentioned before about the emails downloading and the ebooks as well uh, these are the emails and you see they're marked new until I actually uh, you know highlight them in here um, so I'll clear all those out now but um, Anyway, the, it's not like the first game where you have a time limit to read the emails and the terminal locks you out, which is actually, frankly, I don't think it's good a scheme the way they did it in, in Human Revolution. But um, you can also change the location that you're at. So now I, I'm checking the ones back from the headquarters when, at the beginning of the game. Um, and there's the Patient X one. But this ebook here on neuroplasticity that we found earlier, I wanted to point this out particularly because this is an actual field of research. A very important field of research um, in the natural sciences, particularly fields like psychology. Uh, it, it's it's really, really as the game says, it's about the ability of our brains to to actually change its structure, uh, the synaptic connections, um, as we learn things, as we experience things. Uh, and of course, the thing is that that's like good and bad, because uh, the reason this is a, a very important field of research is it relates to, as I said, learning, but also memory. Uh, and because the brain actually will change it, its structure, its, its synaptic connections, um, if you experience, like, say, a traumatic event, um, or perhaps, you know, whether it's an instantaneous or a relatively short term type of thing, or maybe something that's longer term, like a period of isolation, um, you know, that might lead you to you know, depression or add, you know, stress of some kind or something like that that causes you to have certain psychological problems. Uh, and it's because your brain actually has changed its synaptic, synaptic connections. Um, so that's why the, there's so much research being done in this because right now the, the treatments that are usually done are, are related to, you know, some type of drug, you know, to go ahead and, and affect the synapses. But, um, and, you know, the physical, the structure of the brain. The connections within the brain uh, but the thing is of course what the game is pointing out is that if we learned enough about this you know is it possible that we could go ahead and augment people's mental capabilities uh you know or even think you know things like reaction times or you know sight hearing things like that um so yeah i mean there, there might be a possibility there but you also get into the thing of like manipulation of memory and stuff like that could you change certain memories, erase memories, all that sort of thing? Um, so, you know, this is actually an area of research. If you want to read more about it, a good academic site, um, s some people may know of Nature Magazine, uh, nature.com, but actually they, they publish a lot of different academic journals, not just Nature Magazine. And you can go to their site, you can go to nature.com slash 360 slash index.htm. And that particular site is a, a collection of academic journals that deal directly or indirectly with the field of neuroplasticity or related fields. Um, 
Now, of course, since they're academic journals, in order to have full access, you would either have to be an academic, whether it's a, you know, a staff member of a university or like a, a professor or a student, and your university would have to have a subscription to the database or a database that has access to those journals. But that particular site I just pointed out uh, also offers a couple of free samples from any, you know, all, all the different journals, and you know they're openly accessible to anybody, you know, on the World Wide Web. So you can just go there, you can check out some of the academic articles, and, and uh, you'll learn a little bit more about this field and some of the research that is being done or has been done. Um, I'll also try to go ahead and uh, add a link to that in the descriptions. I, I, I plan to go back and update the descriptions with some links uh, to academic sources for some of the stuff that the game deals with. Because this is important. This is what's happening now. In the very near future, the game is projecting and the various issues that the game raises, that's the whole point of this. And that actually is the field of technology studies. That's exactly what this field deals with. So I just wanted to point that out. Um, so let me just go ahead and clear out the news here for these emails since we already did really go through those back at headquarters. And then we'll go back in here. What? Well, that was weird. Okay. Oh, come on. Oh, this is just getting stupider. I like the way that they did this in the first game better, too. It was much better. So move forward. I mean, just go. <laughs> I'm not very impressed by the control system in this game. Anybody seen D-Rag? Probably smoking a cigarette. Why? He shouldn't be wandering off like that. Zeke wants us all on full alert. What for? The Popos ain't coming in here. Not while we's holding all the cards. No shit. You see Zeke when that hands are looking sneaked us? Never see no one twitch that fast. He's gonna get us out of this. Not if those popos catch us blazing. So split up. <laughs> Just so you know, this, this guy that's on the radio station, I haven't gotten much into his character. I haven't gotten far enough into the game where I really deal much with what's going on there with his talk show or whatever. But evidently his name is Lazarus. And he's, uh, you know, sort of, you know, talking about the issues, uh, the conflict between, you know, the haves and have-nots, the, the, the augmented people versus non-augmented and all that. Um, but like I said, we'll get into more about him later, I'm sure. So one down, two to go. And in case you're curious, I mean, the reason to go ahead and basically get rid of these guys is because uh, you want to go ahead and search through the area and collect all the miscellaneous stuff that's here. Uh. 
So, um, as I said, you know, of course, going about things this way does tend to take longer. Not that I probably have to drag him all the way over here, but oh well. I had to recharge my energy cell anyway. Newspaper again, except that, yeah, that we've already seen. So, you can see this is the the door back out to the loading dock. Um. And this is the door going back to the lobby where we already were. And these are just restrooms, no big deal. But, okay, here's an ebook. The Sleepwalking World. Wake up! A fortress of lies is hidden in the heart of America. It has many names. Dreamland, Groom Lake, Area 51, Magic. For decades, this clandestine military facility has been declared a non-place. It does not exist. What transpires beneath the desert sands there is isolated from oversight of any kind. If they will not open it, they must be forced. Lethal military technologies are unleashed on a daily basis. Biological weapons research, exotic power systems, synthetic intelligences, use of energetic devices and objects of paranormal and or xenoterrestrial origin. This place is protected by killers and assassins, by paid lackeys and turncoat politicians. It is shrouded in lies and deceit. There is no one to stop the mad scientists from tampering with forces beyond their understanding. Every day this black zone remains intact. We are threatened by the uncontrolled experimentation taking place there. What are they hiding? Which, uh, you know, if nothing else, uh, in the first game you actually go to Area 51. Okay, so... Oh, okay, yeah, like I said, <laughs> originally... I want to go ahead and go through all the lockers to collect all the crap in them. Because there is a fair amount, actually. Concussion grenade? Wouldn't want to leave a concussion grenade behind. Credit chips. Uh, the 35 credits isn't going to make me rich. Man, more tranquilizer darts. So they didn't have the bench in the way. Okay. Alright, looks like that's about it. As I said, there's a fair amount of stuff in there, so it's nice to collect everything. Jensen! I just tried to unlock the assembly lab door, but my override codes aren't working.